I'm Keith Massey. I just got back from McDonald's. We're in that holy season known as buy one, get one free Big Mac. So I've decided to use this opportunity to conduct an experiment that I've been thinking about for some time. The question is, can you freeze a Big Mac? So one of these Big Macs, I asked them to make it with no lettuce, because let's be honest, you can't freeze lettuce. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm taking this Big Mac without any lettuce, and it's going in a plastic bag. I'm gonna freeze this for a total of 24 hours as a proof of concept. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna thaw it, I'm gonna try to microwave it like wrapped up in uh, napkins just to see if it heats up, whether or not it still is a viable Big Mac. I got them to give me a generous portion of extra special sauce that I'll be able to put on that Big Mac. And if this works, you see, the next time we're in the buy one, get one free phase, you could buy like five Big Macs, get five free, eat one, freeze the rest, and you could have a Big Mac anytime you want. So, 24 hours from now, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm back. It's actually been 48 hours. Now, on Sunday, I had bought two Big Macs and gotten two free. I froze the one that you saw me put in the bag, but then, as I was eating the Big Macs, I realized I didn't need three Big Macs in one day, and so I actually froze two. This one was the one that actually had no lettuce with it. The other one, this was a normal Big Mac, so I did my best to take as much lettuce off it as I could, because you know that's not gonna freeze well. And so I'm gonna use this opportunity to reheat these in two different methods so that we can find out what works the best. This one, I'm thinking I'm gonna take the patties out, I'm gonna heat them separately. I'm gonna put the bun on like a cookie sheet and kind of just warm it up a little bit after everything's thawed. This one, after it's thawed, I'm just gonna wrap it up in, in a paper towel, I'm gonna put it in the microwave, and I'm gonna heat it in like 30 second increments until it's hot, and then we're gonna see whether or not this experiment worked. See you in a little bit. The moment of truth has arrived. Okay, first, this is the Big Mac that I allowed to thaw and I wrapped it in paper towels. I microwaved it for 30 seconds. I checked on it. I microwaved it for another 30 seconds. I put on, of course, the extra special sauce. And here we go. Is this, in fact, a Big Mac that has been brought back to life? Um, listen, I'm not going to lie to you, because you deserve the truth. Is it as good as the moment it was made, if I'd eaten it at McDonald's? Is it as good? No, no, of course not. Is it a Big Mac? Absolutely. It's an eatable Big Mac that one could freeze and have. And in this case, we've proven that you don't have to go to the trouble of separating them and recooking them. Just basically, if you thaw that thing, reheat it, I personally would again say, if you gotta put some extra special sauce on it because that sauce is not heated when it's on the Big Mac. So get some extra special sauce, heat up your frozen Big Mac after it's thawed, and you're good to go. Now, here's the one where I went to the extra trouble. I divided this one up. I cooked the meat separately, and then I reheated the three buns in the, the oven, basically, so they get a little more toasty. So let's see how this one did. Um, I would go to the trouble of dividing them up. This is a better experience than the other one. The other one was fine, but this is what I'm experiencing here. This actually feels more like a Big Mac that I would have had at McDonald's because the bun is like a little more toasty and, uh, and the insides were basically were heated separately. So either way you do this, we've proven truth in concept. Yes, a Big Mac can be frozen, brought back to life, reheated, 
and eaten pretty much as an eatable Big Mac at a later date. So, tomorrow, May 7th, the last day of buy one, get one free. Let's get out there and buy ourselves some Big Macs.